In this video, we're going to learn how to create a slideshow using the Windows Screen Saver that comes with your Windows operating system. In the last video, we moved some pictures over into a folder on our desktop called Screen in preparation for doing this. So we'll continue. On any unoccupied area of your desktop, right click. That'll open up a dialog box. You're going to come down to the word Properties and left click. It's going to open up the Windows Display Properties menu. I'm going to highlight the Screen Saver tab and left click. Once we get to that, if you haven't changed your uh, Screen Saver, more than likely it's the default Screen Saver for the Windows operating system that you have. Uh, we're going to uh, click on the drop down box down here and see what's available. There's several different built-in screen savers but we're going to come down to the My Pictures Slideshow and left click. Now usually the default for My Slideshow is in the My Documents My Pictures directory. However because I've already done a trial run it's already on the correct folder but we'll show you how to change that. Click on the word settings and then click on the word browse to navigate to the folder that you saved your images in. Keep in mind that normally it's uh, the default of my documents, my pictures. But we save some images in a particular folder on our desktop. You can simply scroll down to the bottom and your desktop desktop is displayed. Highlight the word screen. That's where we saved our pictures. You'll see the little icon uh, folder open and the word screen highlighted. This tells you that you have successfully selected that folder and then click on OK. Then in the screen saver options there's some different choices that you have to make. How long the picture shows before you go on to the next image. I'm going to choose six seconds. How large the picture should be. I'm going to choose 100 percent. Stretch small images. I'm not going to choose because if the images are small and we stretch them to fit the entire screen they become pixelated and they uh, they really look terrible. I didn't name the pictures uh, by changing the file names, so I'm not going to show file names. I'm not going to use transition effects between the pictures because they use a lot of memory, and I choose not to do that. But you can uh, you can play with that at your leisure. Allow scrolling through the pictures with the keyboard. I am going to allow that. This will allow you to move from the image that's dis displayed at the moment, either forwards or backwards, using the right and left uh, arrow keys on your uh, on your keyboard. Then I'm going to click OK. In the preview screen uh, in the display properties menu you'll actually see the images uh, that you've selected previewed in it. Uh, and if they are the images that you put in your folder then you know you selected the correct folder. Uh, the next choice we have to make is how long uh, before the screensaver kicks in. I'm going to choose 10 minutes and what this means is that after 10 minutes of no activity on the keyboard or the mouse the screen saver will kick in. On resume password protect if you have a password to log on to your desktop then you can check this. If you check it and you don't have a password it's still going to bring that screen up but you just click and you still return to your desktop. I'm not going to uh, check that because I don't have a password to log on to my desktop. I'm the only person that uses this computer. So we've selected our folder. We see the correct pictures are in the uh, uh, preview button so there's no need for us to preview it. Uh, uh, I'm simply going to click apply uh, and then when the word apply becomes a ghost image you'll know that Windows recognized your command. It did apply those settings uh, and then I'm going to click OK. 
and we have now created a slideshow screensaver and 10 minutes of time from now uh, that slideshow will automatically appear as my screensaver on my desktop. Uh, we'll see you in the next video.